All right, guys, welcome back to our vegan dining room office. I feel like we were just here. Right? <laughs> all right, well, this is all of the cook-ish books that we've gotten in the past year. In the past year. We've made a video about cookbooks like every single January, and we don't want to get into the habit of just showing you the same ones over and over again. Mm -hmm. So this year we decided to just show the ones that you got this since year. last year. Right. Um... So yeah, if you if you're interested in what other cookbooks we use, go back and watch check out the some other of those videos. other videos because we got a lot. Mom's got so many cookbooks. I had to give away about half of my cookbooks because number one, I just didn't have the room, mm -hmm. and number two, a lot of them were from before I went vegan, and yeah. I'm like, well, what is the point of this? So I, you know, you found new homes though for them, so yeah. that was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now they're all vegan. <laughs> Actually, there might be one or two that There are. might be one or two that are not <laughs> vegan, but that's okay. But Sometimes it's fun vegan. to just adapt yeah. things yourself. Mm -hmm. But anyway. All right. Well, the first one is not really a cookbook. It's more of a lifestyle book. It does have some recipes in it, though. So this is the uh, How to Simplify Your Life and Live Sustainably by YouTuber Madeline Olivia. This is one of our favorite YouTubers. Yeah. I just, I love everything about her. She's... Very real. Mm -hmm. She's very down to earth. I feel like she's someone that she's we could like honest. hang out with. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if she could take us, but... Yeah, she might be like, enough. <laughs> I need a break. I'm sorry. But uh, there's a few recipes in here. Mm -hmm. But most of this is basically how to live sustainably. And minimalist. Mm -hmm. and, and get it organized. Not stress out. Uh, self-care, that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So... She came out, I believe, with her cookbook last... Well, you mean this book, right? Well, yeah. This, this came out, like, the beginning of January, last year? January, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think like, it was the beginning of last year. Yeah. But she just uh, wrote another cookbook, an e-book, mm -hmm. that came out um, around... Not long ago. Yeah, like a month ago, maybe. Mm -hmm. And that looks exciting, too. Yeah. So, I'm, so, so far I have this one. I might get the ebook. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, this is good. I just love her, like, aesthetic, too. It's so yes. pretty. It's very so clean, simple. Very inviting. Yeah, this book just, like, feels good. I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm a freak for books. <laughs> she is a book freak. All right, I think I got this for my birthday last year. Yes, I believe you did. The Flower Water Salt Yeast Book. So, this is all about, if you didn't get it from the title... Baking. Baking Woo, bread. bread. <laughs> so sourdough, you know, everybody's been in lockdown. Uh, very, you know, what do I do? Mm -hmm. Oh, bake bread. So this is a James Beard award winning uh, cookbook, which means it's freaking good. That's a big deal. It's good. I mean, look at that bread on the cover. How could you pass that up? That's like bread <laughs> bowls, right? Yeah, that looks look. so good. Oh. Sourdough is a real journey. It is. And it's um, a commitment, too. It is a commitment, but you really have to have a lot of experience to get sourdough right mm -hmm. because it is all natural. You're not putting anything in there that's uh, artificially uh, influencing your bread. So yeah. you got to have a great base. And this book is very, very helpful. Plus, I think it's very on brand that this author's last name is Forkish. It's just... <laughs> It's perfect. Vegan is porkish. <laughs> Love it. All right. My next cookbook, I believe I got around the same time. Oh. Love is Served. Or actually, maybe I got this one for Mother's Day. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was later, I'm pretty sure. So this book is the cookbook for Cafe Gratitude. Oh. Out in California. All you lucky people out in California that get to eat with Woody Harrelson and Giselle Bunchen and uh, Jaden Smith mm. and Mark Hyman, MD. This is all of the things uh, that they have at the restaurant and some. Mm -hmm. So um, some beautiful, beautiful stuff in here. Plates on there. Beautiful whole food, plant based cooking in there that just very inviting. Mm -hmm. You know, very inspiring. Even if uh, you don't make the recipes that are in the book. Just looking at the pictures and the combinations of ingredients are very inspiring if you like to develop your own recipes. Yeah. And I love the names of all the things as well, like um, the I am local. <laughs> and then it has like, I am humble, I am this, I, I mean, am not gracious. the most descriptive names if you're like, what's in here, but... 
Yeah. But I do like the names. Yeah, but I mean, some of this food is just so inviting. Beautiful. Yeah. So the, a lot of inspiration comes from this book. It's mm -hmm. a very beautiful book. You, got, you can really appreciate when a uh, book is photographed beautifully because... The photography is so important. You do eat with your eyes as well as your mouth and ears and mm -hmm. you know the, the taste of the food the smell of the food the look of the food the sound of the food while you're eating all right this is um a blue zone kitchen uh cookbook so everybody knows the world's longest lived people are i wouldn't in the say blue everybody zones. knows this well you should know it if you want to live a long time you got to eat like the people who live in the blue zones mm -hmm. so like the seven day adventists out in uh california the there's one greek island i believe uh where it is a blue zone and they um they live like almost 200 and wow. yeah i it's all listed in here i can't of course i'm drawing all right here we go i got it <laughs> Yeah. It's literally on one of the first pages. Yeah. <laughs> Loma Linda is the one in California. Mm -hmm. I Ikaria, that's the Greek one. Nicoya, I'm not sure where that's from. Okinawa, that's the uh, Japanese yams that you see us eat all the time, the purple ones. Sardinia, that's uh, in Italy, I believe, or mm -hmm. near Italy. It's more Spanish, isn't it? Sardinia. Is it? I don't know. I always thought that was Italy, but... Okay, it's it's Italian. I'm kind of an, idi an idiot I'm, geographically, so... I am so not good uh, geographically, yeah. as you can tell. But, like, there's recipes from all of the different um, areas. Those are some beautiful uh, pastas. Are these all vegan? Uh, no. Okay. I, I think there are very uh, few... That have maybe just the tiny... Actually, these might all be vegan. I'm not sure, but the um, diet of the people from these places are like 95% vegan. Like, they have okay. meat very occasionally. Mm -hmm. But uh, there might be a tiny, tiny bit of dairy in here or egg or Got something. Got it. Not in all the recipes, though. This cookbook is probably almost all vegan. Nice. And it's written by Dan uh, Butner. Okay. He's. I've seen him on Amazon. He's written a couple of other uh, cookbooks, and uh, there he good is. Deal. There he is, enjoying a nice, like a nice meal, meal with some locals. <laughs> so good stuff. Very cool. A hundred recipes to live to a hundred. Well, this is a National Geographic book. Oh whoa! All right. Here's a book we got probably a few months ago. Mm -hmm. Another uh, vegan YouTuber. Nisha Vora. Oh, is this um Rainbow Plant Life? Okay, yes. Very, very good. Very good cookbook. This was a um Instant Pot cookbook, authorized by Instant Pot is her first cookbook. And the photography in here is off the charts. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Look at that. How can you make oatmeal look that good? Oh. It's just amazing. Let me let me pick a really nice Man, my one. oatmeal looks like crap. <laughs> oh, look at this. Chickpea biryani. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. It looks so good. She uh, obviously cooks... It does with, look good. <laughs> with, a, ...with an Indian slant because she is uh, Indian in heritage. Mm -hmm. And all of these um, recipes are made in the Instant Pot. Nice. And it's just... Oh, my God. Even upside I'm, down. I know. I just want to eat it. <laughs> and I her, think we need to start using our Instant Pot more. I know. We do. Her recipes are easy to follow. There's no difficult ingredients in there. She gives you options if you... Oh, look at that. Mm. If you don't like spicy food, she gives you non-spicy options. Mm -hmm. Just a really nice cookbook. Excellent. And she's a very nice person. I really enjoy her videos. Yeah. And she recently moved to California. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I guess to be near her parents. Okay. I think. Well. Is this book dirty or is it supposed to be? I think it's on the book. That's weird. I can't tell. I don't think I <laughs> dripped anything on there. I think that's the way it is. But Yeah, I think it is. Cause you I'm got it. It's Gaz Oakley. <laughs> His third Whoa. cookbook. Plants Only Kitchen. Again, the photography. I Hello. love restaurants that have the, um, the cardboard boxes. I know. It just feels so special. <laughs> This uh, cookbook does not disappoint. His first two cookbooks were home runs. 
This one is 70 recipes. I would have liked a little bit more, but 70 is good. Mm -hmm. um, oh my God, just look at that. Show everyone. Hot and fruity Indian chicken pie. That just Yum. looks... This is over 70, by the way. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. Delicious. He uh, is tra restaurant trained, mm -hmm. and that means the food's going to taste good because... He you, knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. You can't have uh, food that doesn't taste good in a restaurant. Nobody's going to buy it. And his food is, this, out of the three cookbooks, is the healthiest cookbook oh, yeah. that he's written. Yeah. He's, oh, for him. Yeah. For okay. him. He's got a guide in here, um, you know, what is gluten-free, what is higher protein, what is lower calories. Mm -hmm. He's become more uh, health conscious over the years as well, so... Because, you know, the first ones were pretty decadent. And then now, <laughs> time to pay the piper. you got to start eating healthy. So Gaz said, okay, Very nice. I'm going to make a cookbook that's pretty healthy. So <laughs> this is it. And it does not disappoint. Just, oh, my God. Tofu koftas. We made oh, we these. made those. Those were really good. Yeah. Very, very good. Yeah, right, we made so, those. Yeah, we made those. Those. So <laughs> that is your, your cookbook haul for last year. Mm-hmm. I, pretty nice. It's a I pretty think. good grouping. It is. Uh, you know, considering food is my life, I think that's a small amount of cookbooks for one year. Didn't I also get you that like cake, fancy cake decorating? That one? was for Christmas. Oh, okay. that was already in the. I wasn't mix. sure if that was for your birthday or for Christmas or it what. It was Christmas. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, we did talk about that one last yeah. year. Yeah. Got it. Mm hmm. All right. Well, that's it. So let us know. I hope you let me know which one of those you have, if any of them, or, or which or, ones you got. Or, this past year. Yeah, or what you're interested in getting, mm -hmm. you know. Let me know, because there's a lot of cookbooks coming out this year. Lauren Toyota's new cookbook is coming out in March. And I believe the uh, Bosch Boys over in the UK, they have a new lifestyle cookbook. Mm -hmm. Well, lifestyle book. I think there's still recipes in there, too. But, um, yeah, let me know what you're excited for that's coming out. Yep. Oh, and I forgot my um, How Not to Diet cookbook. Oh, that's right. It's probably because it's in rotation over... The, yeah, it's in the kitchen. I was using it the other day. So, um, also, great cookbook. Super healthy, whole food, plant-based. Dr. Greger did a wonderful job with the recipe development in there. I, I think he had somebody doing it with him. Mm -hmm. And uh, delicious food, healthy food. Excellent. There you go. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a great January. And until next time, much, much love. love.